everyone and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies. Franz here as always and yes we're carrying on with our playthrough version 10. It's in the better branch and where's my ships? <laughs> so we got one ship here. Did we, were we not building another ship or no we were trying to save for another ship I think. Uh, we were infiltrating this city over here and we have gyroscope turrets. Excellent. I am interested in what that means. We're going to go for this because I want to get the planes unlocked because we do want to bring out the Scottish carrier again. So we're going to go for that. We are also going to pause this up just now so I do need to see what is this thing we have unlocked. Let's have a wee look. Let's bring this all up just now. Propulsion. Yep. Okay. So weapons. Let's see. What was it? What was it? Ah, it's these guys. Okay. So... And fa what the hell is that? Requires bonus Imperial Cannon. A preposterous large weapon. A single hit will destroy most smaller modules. Oh. My. That is quite large. It is very large. How much does it cost for one of them? 830 for one? I suppose if you had it just sitting in the back, just had it just only firing that. <laughs> Uh, two ammo per shot, reload time is 10 seconds, most accurate range, 990 meters. Wow. That is cool. But yes, we have these guys. I was actually thinking there were going to be more turrety things, like, but, ah well. Okay, we'll leave that just now. We'll head in there, we'll get this the these guys unlocked. We do want to have at least two of these guys, like, on our fleet at the moment. Because I feel like that's going to be a, a must-have thing. We did take this over. We could go take out the giant bees, but I feel like uh, we don't have anywhere near enough for that. We have a spy active just now. Let's have a wee look here. You've got... Oh, you already have planes. That's going to be tricky. Royal Oak and Glordius are there. All right. Um, hmm, they already have planes. They're probably going to go heavy in the planes then. We, uh, we don't even have the planes yet. And then we get the biplanes and aerial torpedoes and reduced torpedo range or... Ah, excellent. We've got the mech spiders over there. We are not doing a heavy cannon just now, so we don't want that just now. We do want to large suspendium chambers, flat cannon, suspendium chamber. We want to get the planes. We definitely want to get the planes. That's what my main thing is going to be for right now. Let's have a wee look out at the map just now. We've got a lot of things going on, a lot of things going on, a lot of CP. Where are you heading for? What are you actually heading? You're heading for them. I don't think so, buddy. You've diverted, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'm wondering if we should put a, like, a large, can like, edit this a little bit and put a large cannon in it. Because it may be good to get a, like, a first salvo off and just fire a large cannon. That'd be all sorts of insane. So they're not actually sitting there, they're sitting in that one. Okay. Well, I'm going to recall our spy just now. Recall spy. Gives a little bit of extra cash monthly. This one's going to be done. There we go. Right. So we do have two of these guys, so what we could do is actually, you know, put them kind of close to each other. So within range, one more should be enough to at least get us a, a fleet of two going. And then we could start to extend our empire a little bit. But what I could do, actually, is let's send a spy there. And we'll send a spy there. We're also going to move you down, so we can have a little look. So we spent about 200, but we're going to have a little look at these guys just now. So let's have a wee look here. So, destroy, destroy. You've got two things here we can... We could take that, I think. We could definitely take that, I think. What do I got here? Ah, okay. What the heck is that? That is actually really cool. I like this sort of design work that's going into these. That is actually really nice. Alright, so... I think we could definitely take those two on. Once we have another... Unless we actually just... Move you down just now. Let's keep an eye on you, because I don't trust you. And then we will invade here. Because we do have our empire that automatically there will be no soft takeover or hard takeover. And it just takes them over. Alright, so we got these two guys. So, let's see what we can do. We're going to get used to here and here. We're going to start. And we're going to grab used to. Put you on aim fire. And get used. You're already in aim fire. So, go. I want you over that way. And I want you over that one. Go! So we've got the speed to really kind of propel themselves. I like it that it's not, the ships don't feel very boxy. And look at that, that is so cool. I love that. All right, the main, there we go. We're going to bring you down ever so slightly. 
We got the two fleets. Or the two ships, should I say. Fire that. Load up. Get it dead. There we go. Another bomb. And another bomb. You are getting attacked a little bit, which I don't... I wonder if we could... Could have flipped that around, maybe. There we go. Let's flip you around. Face each other. <laughs> Look at that. That is just so cool. It's like, hello. How you doing? How you doing, guys? Huh? Hi. How you doing? Just uh, bombing this place, you know? Just having some fun here. If you ever so slightly forward, don't hit them. Don't hit them. There we go. Excellent. These guys probably will need a little bit of repairing, but they're not too much in a way. That is massively on fire. That might go. They don't fix that soon. Oh, here comes another one, though. Right into... The yep. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff there. We're taking a few holes here and there, but we're doing okay. Right, we got a hole here. That would be nice if you fixed a the hole. There's another bomb down. And another one right down there. Oh, very nice. And there it goes. That's that one completely dealt with, I think. Excellent. We actually have claimed victory. Sweet. They surrendered. Excellent. All right, we do need to send you guys back to here because we don't really have anything else. We got a little bit extra income as well, which is superb. Head back up here, and I do think you need a little bit of repair, don't you? No, you don't. Fire calls a foreign agent has destroyed the Black Citadel at Guildfield. Where's Guildfield? Defenses. Damn it! You're not meant to be doing that to me. Don't do that. Right, we do need a Ooh, radiant fortress. Would be nice to have. But what we'll do is we'll do a silent watcher just to give us a little bit of something down there just now. These guys don't actually need fixed. I suppose they didn't take too much in the way of fight then. I mean, they don't seem to actually be needing anything. I don't know what that refitted there. They're both the exact same. Quite literally. Alright, let's see what we can do here. That is on high alert, uh, so it should be okay. But we do have a good amount of income right now. Uh, hmm... Let's see, if we move you... I mean, we did spend a lot of cash getting one of them in there, so... You know what? Pirates have set up base here. Damn it! Well, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Let's see what we can do here. So we got this and this. Alrighty. Let's put you down, and we'll put you up there. Because we're gonna move you straight across as quickly as you can, guys. Go, 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 go. Don't crash into each other, whatever you bloody do. Right. I'm gonna take you up and over. Gonna take you down and under. Uh, why are you having issues? Up, Sadezy. Hull breach already? Oh, that's not good. You get over. It's full speed, gentlemen. Drop the bombs. There we go. Excellent. Drop the bombs. You're not gonna drop bombs, are you? Or are you? I have no idea what you're doing. There we go, excellent. Right, you want to come down here. There we go. Let's speed this up a little bit. So we can just... I think if we take the leg out of this one, it may actually fall, though, quite quickly. I mean, you can't... Oh, no. Gravity is not a thing, remember? I suppose that is something. If you take both out, it will fall down, because it won't be anything. Uh, and there it goes, never mind. It's blowing that up, blowing that up. Excellent. That's that one down. Superb. You can stop blowing it up now. You can stop hit. You feel like you're rubbing salt in the wind. And he surrendered. Excellent. And now we have another shipyard, which is even better because that boosts your income quite a bit as well. Because it's 83 income we have. So it's 128 as well. That is fantastic. I'm definitely very happy with that. But we do have pirates here that we're going to need to get rid of in some way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys back here. I'm going to build a ship. What I might do is... That is expensive. As we should probably have something in the way of a little smaller one. You know, little things that maybe sit at the back. Like this one would be probably good. Or, or this one. That would be pretty cool. You know, corridor with ladder. It's got a ventral gun. We can actually make some of them. We can make some bats. I might make my own bat though. What is this one? What is this? Grenades. That is just a grenader. It's pretty cool to see some of the, the sort of different designs coming out here as well. It's actually really, really cool. Unmatched. Oh, repair bay right out of front there. Oh, that is a torpedo. 
This is the pe torpedo one. All right. I don't think we've unlocked much in the way of uh, extra stuff yet, but we do nearly have this, which is even better. So that's going to be helpful as well. Uh, select research. We're going to go for trip planes as well. We do, in fact, have... Uh, we can design a ship. So let's have a wee look here just now. Air thingamabobs. Where are you? I mean, we could actually search it. So air... No. So we have this, which is these guys. So they can actually get in there. You can have a nice wee bay of them, actually. I think I might create one of these guys, actually, because that's going to cost 100. So it's going to be... So it's 100 per one. All right. So... If we literally just create one of these just now, I think. So we're going to just get rid of that. Propulsion, an engine pod. We could actually just place there if we want to. Or a large propeller. I might have this as propellers because then I... Wait, do propellers actually need... Let's get that way. The propellers need anything. So generates so requires a unit of coal. So they do need coal. But... What we could do is place like one there and one there. No, they need to actually that. Okay, so we basically we'd need to place it there. Doesn't give as much of a service ceiling. It actually takes down our service ceiling. Oh, they, no, they're just propulsion. It's not actually anti motor fix an issue. Requires propellers. No, it's not going to be doing any lift. We need this stuff. So we need a, a pressurized tank and let's see. So we put pressurized tanks here and here, right? So that's going to give us 300 meters off the ground. Wow. Okay, so we probably just want to put that right in the middle. And that adds 2,000 lift. Hold on, I want to save this design. So this is going to be the sinful carrier. Can't spell. I'm going to call that the sinful carrier just now. All right, so we got the simple carry here, and well, it's got an, uh, quite a lot of lift. What I want to do actually is I want to open this one just now. You have 165, so that is quite a high service ceiling. 165, and we noticed that was quite high. Whereas this already has a, ca uh, a ceiling of 169, so that's four more than that already. But again, we haven't added in some basics like a bridge. Maybe a good idea, you know. Um, a propeller would probably be a good idea for it to move. Um, but what I want to do is I want to quickly go into propulsion, propeller, propeller, large propeller. I mean, that would sit up there. And it'd give us every ceiling of that, but how much is that? It's 142. Do we, I mean, we don't really need that much, do we? Triple seal! Da -da -da. I mean, we could actually place that there. But that would take down, no, that's going to take down our service ceiling quite largely, actually. Engine pod, could I just actually put an engine pod, you know? Just attach it there, it's like, ha-ha! But really, actually, in saying that, we want to kind of keep the price down on this. So, would that be in weapons? Where would that actually, where do they hide this? Shapes and decorations, command and crew. Well, we do need a, no, we got a bridge. We, we can have some quarters to fill that bridge. Like so. A telescope, a quick telescope spotter can direct the fire of the ships. We don't really need that just now. Do need a corridor or ladder though to connect these up. There we go. Where do they put them? Steel supply hatch. No. Uh, hmm. Aircraft. That might be a, a thing. I mean, you could have it like this. So it's like a little bit of a, a box here. But that's going to be shooting up the price here. We kind of want to get these into battle fairly quickly. So I'm going to create something that's a very small, very you know simplistic in, in its nature. But I will get out there pretty quickly. What we could do is place the propeller there. And then we could... Oh, it's going to need... Yeah, it's going to need coal if we put a propeller. What doesn't require coal? It'd be a sail, wouldn't it? A sail doesn't need coal. But would give us... I mean, that's going to be tripling our... It does take that down quite badly. I mean, if we put two... It takes it to 22. Um... Hold on. I want it. 
we need to actually connect these up first of all, right? So what if I do this, this, right? And then we move you to here. And move you guys. So can I just do the same thing? It's going to beef out the price a little bit, but not in the way... So we're going to actually connect them up. We're going to connect these up. Take that out just now. So lift. Where are you? Pressurized suspendium chamber. We put you there. We can then go into basics. We do need a bridge. Put a bridge in there. How many is this crew? Recommended crew 11. So we don't even need as much as that. We could put a fire point right in there. And... Where we need a supply hatch, so can you put a supply hatch there? Need another supply hatch and another supply hatch. All right. Now uh, it's got a sixty-two because we're not gonna. It's gonna literally sit right at the back. So if we fill that with that, that actually, wait, what? HP twenty-seven, HP eighteen. Wood takes that up. Wooden armor takes it down. Steel wall. Weight of two blunt. Hmm. It does have less, but what about steel armor? How much would it float? 19. Wouldn't do too well. We do have that. Stone wall. HP weight of 100. Let's do that one. This one works. This one works. So, decorative though. We want to get a little bit. We're going to stick one of these on somewhere, I think, actually. Or mm, maybe one of these? No, wait a minute. Steel nameplate. The sinful carrier. Yes, yeah, so we're going to place that, or do we want a wooden plate? No. Large steel plate. No. We're going to have it. This. Here. Aha! The info carrier. And we can just... We can, I mean, there's all these designs you can add on and make it all nice and pretty. If you want to. Uh, we're going to put a nice wee... We're going to put... No, wait. We've got a tiny flag just at the back there, just to, you know, make, represent a large intake. Uh, vault... Voltic cell. What the hell's a Voltic cell? Will it tell me? No. Okay, fine. Be that way. We could put a couple of antennas just to look the part because, you know, communicating with the, the team and everything. Uh, apparatus. Just gonna... Can we put that? I don't even know where that went. Oh, we could actually just, you know, add these on here. Excellent. I know that doesn't change the weight or anything like that, so that's quite nice to see. Brass piping. Got some netting actually. Could put that like. You know, just looks like, you know, it's a little area. Get a large tank if we want it. I wonder if does that change the weight? You can't actually add that anywhere. Coil. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Exhaust pipe. Uh, no, let's get rid of the exhaust pipe. It looks daft. <laughs> We'll just have done that anyway. Large griddle. Uh, does that go across there? Or... It goes across there, but we don't want it there. So, this is what we're going to go with. Uh, what is that saying? This ship's modules are not mutually accessible. Huh? Ah. Huh. What if we do... Like, we take that out. Right, so we're going to remove this. Remove that. And then attach that there. And we're going to go... We only have a 7 meter uh, range, so we do need to add into that. I mean, I wonder... No, because then that's going to add, uh, add coal. But there we go. There we go. Save. Save you. Yes. And we can build you. So that's going to give us a simple carrier. Um, That will do... We didn't design it properly. I just realized we didn't paint it. We didn't paint the damn thing. Alright, paint... Uh, we need it all in red, please. With... Uh, there's nowhere to really put that. You can't actually change that either. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. There we go. So, save. Yes. And build. Yes. So, we've got our first of carriers going to be coming in, which is nice. This is rebuilding itself. That's building itself up. We have this here, because I d think if we have two of them plus a carrier, it's going to be a good sort of miniature team to take on some things. Um, we did kind of knock them out from being there, so we might want to work on being down that way, but this is taking down 20%, and I'm not entirely sure how much they have. So, we're going to go find out. Ugh. What have you got? 
You just got this. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, kill you. Kill the pirates! No target available. What? What do you mean no target available? Right in front of you! Actually, what we could do is bring you down. Hopefully not on top of my head. Uh, get off of me. Turn yourself around. There we go. Excellent. Hey guys, get over here. Well, they are now gone. We will defend ourselves against the pirates. As my ship is now crippling, the there's nothing left of this. Don't fire any more cannonballs. Like, seriously, there's absolutely... Or not, you know, just carry on. I'm wondering, do my bombs hit my own ships? I'm certainly hoping not that they're, you know... Because obviously you've seen this in a sort of 2D plane. I'm certainly hoping that they're, you know... It does seem to be that's the case, which is nice. There we go. We have removed the pirates from our area. Excellent. Very chuffed with that. And we got a plus 4,000. Alright, so we're going to build... We can build this... And we want two of them. Alright. And we get this done. So we're going to build another ship. And we're going to build another sinful carrier. We're going to move you over to here. To join them. Going to go in here. Check our defences. Yep. You have that. I'm wondering if we should actually add one of those big cannons. I feel like we should. But at the moment, not entirely 100% sure. Because that's going to give us a good amount of there. Because there we go. That, that's our fleet re ready to go. Which is excellent. And we got this one down there. We've got these nearly built as well. Uh, nobody looks like they're kind of hurt or anything. Let's see. We are going to send a spy right here. I was going to send a spy here. That gave us a good, good solid boost there. I don't know if we should take the bees on. You city. Ah, okay. Recall spy. Invade. And view city. Ah, okay. Recall spy. Right, so that's down there. You are there, so let's move you down to here. Alright, we do want you as far back as possible right now, because you're not going to be taking hits. You guys, on the other hand, are. Right. Move over. Uh. Okay then. <laughs> and we're just like, nope, 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 nope. Right, let's go in here. We're going to scrap you. I'm going to build a building. Keep it cruise. Radiant Fortress is not quite done. So we're going to just wait a little bit, let that get up. And there we go. Right. I don't know if they'll get even a chance to move, but we'll soon see. Right. The day is ours, is it? Really? Go! Uh, okay then. Right, we do need to send a spy. Where are you heading for? You're heading for there, so move quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You have built... Uh, oh, okay. Actually, you move to there. You move to there. Where are you going? You're going up to there. Alright then. I'm sure we can do something about that then. Aha! You're still... No, you're changed course. Fair enough, fair enough. We do have enough to get the, the Radiant Fortress down, though. I do feel like we should alter it. I'm going to alter it, guys. I'm going to design the building. So I'm going to open the design. Radiant Fortress. Right. We do have aircraft now. So we could actually put these, like, you know, attach something at the back. Or I think what might be better is making our own, though. Uh, so, like, a miniature sort of field. But what I want to do is I want to make this a bit more... Pain and suffering for the enemy, so to speak. So let's see, let's see, where is that Grand Canyon? Canyon? Cannon? So it does need a good bit of space. What is, does it, and it does have that, so I think what we do, what if we take this out? Right, and we're going to add this guy in here. Look at that. That is very nice. Now, the only thing is, if they move too quickly forward, we're going to need to put this all the way back here to make this efficient, so to speak. Because otherwise, we've got grenadiers, grenaders here. We could get rid of them, on particular on this side. We're going to get rid of them on that side, right? 
And we do have this here. Um, and we got the ammo store, the ammo store. How much ammo have we got here? We've got 300 ammo. I mean, that takes up two ammo per shot. Um, we've got the muskets down here. I feel like we should change these to muskets. Or even a grape shot? Nah, let's not have it as that. Wait, yeah, rifles, uh, piercing damage 5, piercing damage 9. So muskets actually do more. Muskets actually do a little bit more, but rifles are... Why are they dear? Clip size 20, reload one time 1 second, musket time, reload time 2, clip size 12, fire 160 degrees, 240 degrees. They actually have more of a fire arc. And they do do, they reload quicker, so the piercing damage is only 5, but the reload is 5 seconds, whereas your piercing damage is 9, but the reload is 2 seconds. So what we'll do is I have 2 there, 2 there, and them down there. Alright, should we actually stick a saw blade at the bottom? So then it just comes there, it's like, nope, nope, nope. We could actually put that there, though. So you know anything goes over, although they don't have any way of getting to it. There we go. Right. What we might want to do is extend this out slightly. I know it's going to be a bit left heavy, but it's basically... You want the Imperial Cannon facing the way that you want to shoot. Um, that is fire doors, which is nice of course so we want to take that away we do need to then connect this up that well with that where is the fire door let's search fire door there we go so bring that across actually we could just leave it as that we could then take that away and we want to go to the rifle 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 have that there and there excellent gonna take this away just now because we do want to... Do we want another... Do we need a repair... Do we have a repair bay? Guard barracks. It doesn't look like we do. Crew 36 recommended. So we do need a little bit more crew. What about if we just kind of... Let's take... Let's have, we take that away. We could put one there. Like so. And then we could, uh, you know... Get a fire door. Fire door, fire door. Search and fire door. There we go. So, you know, just keep them nice and safe. So, that's like that. Now, we want to go into a little bit of decoration. So, do, 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 shapes and structures. I mean, we do have that there, but that's going to block that. So, do we have a slick smaller one? We do. But we need it to be the other way around. Like that. We do nicely. And there we go. We could put some lights on there as well if we want to. But I think we have something like that. And then we put a little bit of filler. There we go. I like that. So we probably will adapt and put that on the other side. But I'm going to save the design. So the Radiant Fortress and just going to call it, you know, so we know which one it is. There we go. Right. I'm going to leave that just now, though. Um... It is quick. We'll leave that at the moment. We'll let you see where you're going. You're heading up there. We have taken a lot of land, though. We have pushed out quite well. And we also have this here. Now, I'm wondering, what have you got? And I'm wondering what you got. So, let's have a wee look here. You have that. All right. And we're also going to hit there. Ooh, dear. So, their main thing is that but what about this what are you building that has tracks on it okay recall spy recall spy recall spy so this one is going to be the difficult i mean we could destroy these but we could bribe them if we had enough money and just to sell them on or we could just blow them up but that means they could blow me up as well I'm going to send you guys down here so you... Oop, where the hell did you move to? Oh, hello. What did you build? Ah, it's a, basically a carrier on ground. That's actually a nice idea. That's a really nice idea, actually. I like that. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Who the hell are you? Where the hell did you come from? Where did you come from? Fructopolis. Fructopolis. Blah, blah. 
All right, okay, so you have some planes. All right, then. I think we could invade you and take that back off of you, but I feel like that might be a bit of a bad idea. But, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there for today's episode of Airships Conquer the Skies. We've taken quite a little bit of land. Some land has changed over. This empire is a little bit scary. Just a little bit. Um, but we're kind of having a little bit of a fight down here. We, pr we could, If we push down there, it means the only direct contact they have is through here by land and air would be easy. What is this? Aerial Jelly has been sighted in the area terrorizing locals. What the hell is an Aerial Jelly? Can you attack it? You can attack the Aerial Jelly. I might do that next time, depending on how far we get. But guys, thank you very much for watching. See you all next time.